Last 10 days strategy for INI CET Are you constantly worried about your low INI CET mock test scores? With the day of exam inching closer, are you confused about your revision strategy? Worry not. This video will give you a clear idea of what you should be doing just 10 days before the exam. So do watch until the end for some bonus exam tips and subscribe to the channel for more such useful videos. As might be aware of, the INI CET is your ticket to a PG seat in some of the premier institutions of the country like AIMS, New Delhi, PGIMR, Chandigarh and JIPMER. While it may be one of the hardest examinations you might be facing, clear-minded strategy and prior planning can help you get through and secure a coveted seat. Keeping this in mind, here are some of the strategies to focus on the last 10 days leading up to the day of the examination. Number 1. Create a detailed schedule. By this time, you would have a decent idea of your strengths and weaknesses. You'd also have identified key concepts that you still need to master. So use this time to do exactly that. Plan out your day and divide your time among the subtopics that you still need to revise. A strategy that most toppers stand by is to first target the first and second year subjects. These topics will form the foundation of clinical diagnosis and management. So it's crucial that you revise through these concepts first. If you still have time, divide it among the final year subjects. Now given that you studied these subjects fairly recently, these topics would seem fresh and will naturally require lesser time. One subject that most students seem to neglect without even realizing its true weightage is community medicine. So it would be a smart idea to familiarize yourself with the basics. Number 2. Go through previous year question papers. By this, we don't mean memorize the questions and their correct answers. The objective here is to familiarize yourself with the question paper pattern. Analyze the methodology behind the framing of the question and the corresponding options. Highlight the high yield topics and look out for concepts that you still might be unfamiliar with. But it will take you quite some time to read through every question thoroughly. So how many question papers should you be going through? A safe estimate would be that of last two years. You can squeeze a bit more if you do have time to spare. Number 3. Brush upon your clinical skills. INI CET isn't just your standard rote learning based test. It does test your clinical skills and evaluates if you paid attention during the internship. So start brushing upon your clinical skills. Revise through important surgical examinations like that of thyroid, breast and varicose veins. Familiarize yourself with common medical instruments like four cannulas and anesthetic devices. Try to read up on specific clinical tests and their interpretations. We strongly believe that this should give you a clear edge over other students who solely focus on hard facts. Number 4. Focus on volatile information. Volatile information refers to those facts and statements that you seem to have a hard time remembering. It includes important dates and mathematical formulae from PSM, metabolic cycles from biochemistry, grading and classifications from general surgery. So go through these tables to refresh your memory. You can even make up mnemonics to make it easier for you to remember. Number 5. Attend mock tests. Mock tests or grand tests are an excellent way to understand where you stand. They can provide you with valuable insights into the key concepts that you still need to revisit. So, think of the test as a real-time stimulation of the actual test. Answer to the best of your abilities and try to figure a time management strategy that works the best for you. 
other important tips. Reassure yourself that you simply cannot be perfect with every subject. So, there is every chance that you will come across a question that you might be unfamiliar with. But don't let this bring you down and focus on your strengths. Read the question more than once. Look out for curveballs like which of these statements are false or all of these options are correct except. You might end up marking the wrong option despite knowing the correct answer. Remember that every single right answer counts. Try to attempt more number of questions. The aspect of negative marking might seem scary, but you're not even giving yourself a chance if you simply choose to leave a question. Remember that high risks always equals to high rewards. Lastly, do not worry about the outcome. Focus on the process and trust your preparations because hard work never goes unrewarded. So there you go. That was our last 10 day strategy for INI CET. We hope that you take away something valuable from this video. So if you like the content we are producing, then like the video, drop down a comment and most importantly, subscribe to the channel for more such insightful videos.